Hey guys, it's Alam, and today I'm going to be, and today I will explain to you guys a few things that I missed in my previous Bedrock Edition Farlands videos. So without further ado, let's to slash TP, let's head to the corner here. I always get a big lag spike when typing in slash TP. 100, and then 12,550,800. All right, so now, so we, so we're, so we're right at the corner here, and so I mentioned in my first Bedrock Edition Farlands video back in March of this year, and or at least my first of these recent videos, that the corner Farlands generated as a sky grid due to inter, uh, like here due to interpolation failure. Well, at that time I actually did not know why interpolation broke down. But in the corner farlands, but now I do. It's, it's actually because the values of low and high noise on the x and z axes are multiplied together, and in the cor and in the corner farlands, both of both of the interpolation values are are just are blowing up. So, to the z, so the x axis actually uses higher order equations than the z axis, like. Like the x-axis has the equation multiplied by x, two x, three x, and four x, which I which I think I explained in my fringe lands video a while back. Now the z-axis and the z-axis is only multiplied, but well, in the z-axis it's only multiplied by x and two x in addition to the main in addition to the main equation being used. So again, the outputs of the of the equation given from the accumulated ranger on both axes are multiplied together, and in the corner far lands, and this ca this causes the interpolation values to overflow even faster, like right over there, as I've explained in in a few of my pa in a few of my past battle conditions farlands video battle conditions farlands videos. You can actually see this artifact that look that actually is the stack of the job edition farlands, but it quickly breaks down into the sky grid. In a video in a video a while back, I showed how the comb lands in the fringe lands stop generating. Around forty nine thousand blocks from their center. Now I showed it in the Nether because at the time in the patch I was in the Comart lands actually did not generate in the Overworld, but in this patch they do, and you can see this is the same thing here. And all and this loads up more. Like on the left, like before forty nine thousand and twenty on the Z axis, the or which is eight million three hundred eight thousand six hundred and eight low high noise units, two to twenty three. The Comart effects still generate, but past that point. No comb artifacts generate whatsoever, and the fringe lands become like they were in the in the patches without sky grid. Now, I also noticed I also noticed in the last video that the negative corner farlands, the negative z the court and positive x corner farlands actually thin out sooner, and I have figured out why this is. Let's head to actually let's head into the positive corner here, fifty, one hundred, and for the z coordinate, we'll put the stripe lands coordinate approximately. Just so you guys can see the sky grid and in the stripe lands, and while wow, there's a desert temple right at the beginning of the stripe lands. So this looks just like the sky grid at the beginning. And it actually continues forever along the z axis only. Be, uh, and, I'm pr and that's actually very, um, and that's actually pretty closely related. I'm pretty sure it's related to the to the, how the z-axis edge farlands go into a sky grid. Well, the x ones f fade out completely. Okay. Now, eventually, if I keep if I keep if I keep traveling in this direction here, parallel to the stripe lands, the sky grid will eventually thin out. Now I now I've actually determined that this happened that, that this happened at the point where the remainder where the accumulated remainder on the z axis not plugged into the equation multiplied by the output of the equation on the x axis reaches two to the one hundred twenty eighth the float limit. So so this actually see this I will actually have to here you actually I'll actually have to type in type slash tp actually actually yeah let's head over a bit. There. Anyway, so now it's to slash TP. Tilde 3000. 
and then where's the tilde again? Tilda, and then just tilde there. So when it loads up, you should see that the sky grid actually thins out around here. Now I can't actually get to the point in the positive corner where the where the accumulated remainder on the z-axis is the, is is the same as in the negative z case because that's because as because as I explained in the last video that's thirty seven million blocks out and I can't teleport past thirty million. Then you, but you can see here the same thing pretty much the sky grid thins out and and to only one or two layers. And again, this happens at the point where the accumulated remainder on the z-axis not plugged into the equation is multiplied by the output of the equation on the x-axis. And I was just referring to the main equation, 6x to the 5th minus 15x to the 4th plus 10x cubed here. Not any of the variants that are used, which, which are, there is 2 on the z-axis and 4 on the x-axis. Now, let's, let's, let's head to slash tp, 12,561,029, 100, and then 1,000. I notice every time, whenever I tp to an odd coordinate in, in the Farlands area, the game rounds it up. That's because the game tries to add one half to the coordinate. And... And that rounds up again, like the like the mult like the like the the integers that are one mod four in the stripe lands round down to a multiple of four. the ones that are three mod four rounds up to a multiple of four. Similar to the to the little thing, uh, whatever. Nothing. Anyway. Anyways, you can. Anyway, anyway, so we're in the fringe lands now and. And I actually have something pretty interesting to show here in a little bit. I actually ended up finding, I actually ended up finding something very interesting that you guys will see in just a moment. Okay. Moment now. All right. Actually, I don't think this is it yet. Actually, yeah. Actually, I now just now I found a desert village within the fringe lands. But this is actually not what I really wanted to show you guys that I found yesterday. When exploring. Uh, there it is. I actually found a pair of desert temples in the fringe lands. I actually took the loot out and put some of it in my inventory. And I actually can sprint fly, because I'm because on my other the Z axis is still relatively close to zero. And there's the other desert temple. Pretty cool. And now let's finally head to slash TP, twelve million six hundred thousand, one hundred, and then one. All right, so I believe that after 12,562,277, the terrain would just fit out to one block lines. But, yours, but as you can see here, this is actually not the case. And there, is, and there actually are still comb artifacts generating past 12,562,277, but it's rather but it's rare. By the way, do you... Do you, by the way, do any of you guys know of any seed that has a mushroom biome in the corner of Farlands? I've actually been searching for that on this world. And, and to no avail. Just to see what that would look like. It would be, be rather fun. Anyway, anyway, in a little bit here, you'll actually see the village. You'll actually see the village that I found out here. There it is. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, that's all. That's about all I got for today. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and 
hit the bell and click on all for all notifications. And goodbye.